Alrighty guys, so this morning is going to be a bit of a mixed bag. I thought we'd start the day off by seeing what's in the water, since I haven't actually done that for quite a while. The wind has finally dropped off, the cyclone around here has yeeted itself off, and it's nice to finally have some good weather. Let's have a little look around, see what's biting. Let's see what there may be. Yeet. Well, I found a flathead already. It didn't take very long, did it? We're gonna nosey on over there and just present something to it. So today's weapon is the Irikanji Sicario. It might out of touch. Swam away. Well, hello, this must be one of my old friends. Yeah, that would be right. Of course they are. <laughs> like, I mean, are you serious, man? This isn't very, very nice of you to do that. Yeah. That's a decent sized shovely right there. Mm-hmm, that is what you think it is. My goodness, they're taking over. I'm pretty sure that's a flathead right there. You know what, it is actually. But, um, get a load of this. <laughs> That's a fair lump of bait right there, isn't it? Cool stuff. Now, let's see how friendly this flathead might be. Uh, no, not, not friendly at all. Literally, as I stopped recording with the drone, it just went and hit itself in that log. Yes, how interesting is that, eh? I'm sure someone will be getting very excited right now. Mm, I'm almost tossing up whether I should run a popper over that. Thinking about it. All right, we're at position two. Let's see what we can find today. Check out the size of these mullet. Okay, found a flathead. Big flathead, but the battery's flat, so I need to land the drone real quick. There it is. Found it again pretty quickly. There we go. Flathead and stingray friends. Once again. Let's see if I can anchor here. A bit better. <laughs> what? How on earth did it? Oh, it just bit the tail. Okay, well, what we'll do is get the lure out of there as soon as I can. Yeah, that's that's definitely not the same flathead. Let's give this one a crack. <sighs> That was so weird. What's going on with today? I'm gonna to go to that color and just, you know, you never know with these fish, eh? Well, I found my flathead friend from earlier.
That's about it. Big stingray. All right, let's give this a crack. Let's really make sure those hooks are set. Oh my gosh, look at this beast. Holy moly, let's spat it. Get out of the way, man. Radio. So, see if there's any jacks up about at the moment. Generally, like pink, green, and orange colors are the ones that contain the UV. Ooh. That was a barra. That was a big barra. I just lost a big barra. I saw it, it came up. Safe to say, yesterday was an absolute write-off for me. It didn't matter what I did, there was a problem, something broke, something was lost, something was missing, you name it. It was not a very fun day for me. Couldn't catch a fish, I was hooking them, everyone spat the hook. You see, there's this thing called faith and vision. Once you have it, you truly can see, even if you're in the dark. There was a time when I didn't really have a vision, and let's just say, it wasn't particularly nice. Once I did get that vision, and then I had the faith to carry it out, things really started happening. The moral of this morning's chat is, get yourself a vision, have some faith that it's going to happen. Everything will be against you. It's gonna be completely unfair. All the odds against you, but if you have the faith to do it, it'll happen. So anyway, today's gonna to be a good day. It's already a good day because, you know, I didn't sleep through two alarms this morning. That's a good start. A bit cloudy today, which is fine by me. I've always thought that the flathead like it when it's cloudy. But anyway, let's get on with this really good day that I'm about to have with lots of really good fish. Wow, the water is very warm at the moment. That's cool. I think that was like a little something there had a follow. Short and sharp. I'm pretty sure that's... What I've noticed with the drone is short and sharp. Action that is, I'm talking about. Oh! Good grief, what was that? That was just like, come up and smacked it. It was, look, it looked silver, whatever it was. Man, that thing came after it with a vengeance. Whew. Whatever it is, it wanted it super. I can't work it out, eh? What is that? Oh, is it a, oh, it's a barra. Okay. <sighs> well, <laughs> little barra too. Oh, that's cool. That's cool at least, to catch something. Is there something swimming with it? Did he steal my lure? Come on, bruh. Well, yeah, he did steal my lure. That's okay, I'll go grab another. Well, that's a bit cheeky of you. Hey, what happened to you? Something's had a crack at you. All right, I'll give you some support, mate. 
well, it's not a bad size, it's probably just legal, but obviously can't keep them at the moment. Yeah, anyway, love your work, mate. I uh, appreciate that, that was some good fun. You're full of life. Well, <laughs> today is already better than yesterday. Already caught a fish. See that bead completely saved me right then. I would have lost that hook, my bottom hook. Oh no, my hook, it's naked. You know what the truly amazing thing is, is that this leader is completely untouched. Okay, well, I think it's time to have a little look around. Oh, literally right there. That was like the quickest flathead find I've ever done. No way, that's unreal. That's got to be the quickest flathead find and capture flathead speed run. Really make sure those hooks are set. It's not a big one, but <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh, flathead speed run. That is ridiculous. If that isn't the quickest flathead catch the drone. I don't know what it is. We'll get him back. First cast too. That thing was all over it. All right, got another. All right, it's just had a little pause. Hmm. That's it right next to the boat, eh? Okay, take two. And this right here is what the fish have been waiting for. All these little fish are going to be getting pushed out. They're probably actually not a little. Oh, there's a big girl right there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. That's it. Have a little rest. You've deserved it. You've earned it, darling. Right, this is going to be interesting because I'm going to have to uh, work with the current. They call themselves predators. You get that. It probably, you know, things could be better. But anyway, we're not going to worry about that today because they're already a lot better than yesterday. Oh, and as I went to fly away with the drone, another one rocks up, and I think this one's a bit bigger. Don't hit the drone. That's right on it. Oh, he wants to jump. <laughs> he wants to do the old barra trick. See, what I did there is I stopped watching and just waited for the bite. That's cool. Get out in the deep bit. So not a big fish, but well, someone would think it was big. Wow. I actually hooked that with the uh, weedless and, and not the, the trebles. 65 on uh, that one right there. That's cool. We'll get that one back in the water and she's all good. The sooner the better. That's what did it. The weedless actually was the one that held. Usually that's too heavy for my rod. Okay, so this is what I'm raving on about. See that color right there? They love it so much so that every time I check my mail, I'm getting all these love letters for that lure in the mail from the flathead. Let's see what is dwelling around here. Okay, we'll give this a crack. It is 
kind of glary, but hey, what can you do? And I'm going to have to get reasonably close too, because I'm going to be casting into the wind, which is going to suck. But anyway, just going to give it my best crack. I saw it race over its head. The flathead is swimming away. Suspicious. This fish is suspicious. Oh, well, what's it following though? Is it following something pink? Because every time I wind, it starts to swim. Ah, oh, cool. That's it. Rebury yourself, buddy. It's moving again. Oh, I think it's actively, like, hunting, eh? Hey? Hmm. Very interesting behaviour. Buries itself, look at that thing go. Go you good thing. It's right up on the shallows there now, so I'll get a bit closer. Like I see the lure shoot shoot over its head. But then oh hang on, hang on, hang on. I just saw the line. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. This pink thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, my plastic fell off. Hey! Little barramundi flatted. Woo! Yes! Got it. It's not even a big fish. Fun fish, but. there we have it right there it's not a big fish but it's pretty fun this is a perfect eating size fish so I will actually take it home it's in the 50s oh oh, oh, oh okay big girl big girl big girl moving up <sighs> nah wind got it disgustingly blew it off course I mean disgustingly Might be on the money right there. Yeah, this is gonna be on the money. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bit bigger. That's a bit better. Rod tip down. Rod tip down. Far out, man, they love these colours. They love these lures. I don't even think that, no, it's not, not even on the treble, it's on the weedless. Yeah, okay. I knew that was gonna happen. There she is, just sitting under the boat. Not a care in the world. That's all good, I was just gonna release it. Well, that was a pretty good little session right there. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. This extender pole loves to hit my rod when it's there. Does me head in. Anyway, that was a pretty good little session right there. And I said this morning that today was gonna be a good day, and it was. So that's pretty awesome. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll help you out. It's right here. Make sure you hit that.